Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and it is Saturday, so it's grocery haul day. I have a pretty good sized grocery haul for you. I found some really good deals that I want to share. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe if you're not, turn your bell on because I do a grocery haul every Saturday and I actually upload five videos every single week. Down in the description box, you will find nutrition coaching. Highly recommend those custom to you macros and calories that is what I follow to lose and maintain a 140 pound weight loss, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for questions, accountability, or to talk with me directly. Links, discounts to my favorite things, and come join our Facebook group. It's free, it's supportive, we would love to have you, are all down in that description box. So let's head into the kitchen for this week's grocery haul. So here is my grocery haul for the week. I shopped at my local Fry store, which is a Kroger store. They're having some really good deals for the 4th of July holiday weekend. They do have their 12 packs of Diet Coke or Coke products, buy two, get three free. And their eight packs of Gatorade, if you buy five, they're only $5 a piece, which is about three or $4 off the normal price. So I did buy five 12 packs of Diet Coke for Troy and five eight packs of Gatorade Zero for Troy. Let me show you everything else and I'll let you know what's on sale for the weekend. I did get some paper plates because we are almost out of paper plates. I bought some at the Dollar Tree and they're the worst paper plates in the world. So back to the ones I know are good from Kroger. I also got Troy another loaf of his bread. I'm not sure how much he has left, and these are on sale right now for $3.99, I believe. So I went ahead and grabbed one. I also picked up my favorite hash browns. I've been back in my little protein bowl era for breakfast with my hash browns, cottage cheese, and egg, and some type of sausage or bacon. I just really like that breakfast. It keeps me nice and full. So I grabbed some more hash browns. All of the Kroger brand cheeses are $1.79 a piece on a digital coupon. That is a killer deal. So I stocked up. I bought extra sharp cheddar slices, Colby Jack slices, and extra sharp cheddar. Oh, two extra sharp cheddar, one Colby Jack. And then I grabbed shredded cheese. These are also $1.79. Just regular Mexican blend and then reduced fat sharp cheddar. I think the max you could buy was five or six. So I bought five. We go through a lot of cheese and that is such a great deal. I also got two gallons of 1% milk for Troy for the week. And their ice cream is also on an amazing coupon. Yasa is buy one get one free which is incredible but they were completely sold out they had these left the coffee chocolate chip Troy doesn't like these but I do and so again buy one get one free so they're less than three dollars a box so I did get those and then I got the poppables it's been a hot minute since I've had the poppables but I do actually really like these Troy might eat these but I did decide to just grab him some other bars, some other ice cream. The Good Humor brand is also buy one, get one free. So these were six bucks a box, so $3 a piece. These are the cream sickles, 100 calories, so not bad. And then I thought I'd get in the strawberry shortcake bars as well. It's hot here, we love ice cream, so this will be a good way for us to get healthy ice cream and have it on hand. I also picked him up these little apple turnover mini things. He doesn't want as many sweet treats, and I am actually making him homemade blueberry muffin this week, so I only picked up those and then I grab this I'm just gonna throw it in my freezer got a little mangled in the car but this is a pound of 99% fat free ground turkey I also wanted pretzels I love pretzels and peanut butter as a snack and so I grabbed these because they're pre-portioned out Troy also likes the little bags of chips and things I just thought that this would make having a portion a little bit easier and I love the snaps so these are 100 calorie packs there's 10 of them I think they were on sale for five bucks so it's 50 cents a bag so not bad at all and again just helps keep your portions in line and then for a recipe this week I needed a lot of beans so I got some great northern beans some dark red kidney beans and cannellini beans my favorite brand is the simple truth organic they're like a dollar a can and I just love that the beans are organic I also was completely out of just regular sugar and I really like this brand Zolka last time I bought a huge bag at Costco and they have this for $4.99 which is just a little bit more than regular sugar and this is delicious this is all natural paint pure cane sugar. Like I said, I am making blueberry muffins for Troy, so I needed sugar. I also needed walnuts for my lunch meal prep, so I got the already cut up walnut pieces. I did get a restock on cottage cheese. They did not have any low fat good culture. It was completely sold out. So I just got the whole milk. I don't really care either way. They taste the same to me, so I typically buy the low fat, but the whole milk, 
that'll work as well. I just wanted cottage cheese for some good protein. And then I also needed sliced or slivered almonds for my lunch meal prep. I got this, I thought maybe I'd have this for lunch today or we could do a salad night for dinner. This is the Everything Caesar Chopped Salad Kit. And you know I like to put my real good nuggets or chicken strips on top. It's just a really easy lunch or dinner. And this again, was this was reduced to $2.02. I got quite a bit of fruit because fruit is in season. We've been loving fruit. I got two huge, ginormous packs of blueberries. These were $4.99. I need one of these for the blueberry muffins. And then I got some for the week. Cherries are $1.49 a pound right now, which is such a good deal. This whole bag of cherries was just a couple of dollars. And then I did get a seedless watermelon per Troy's request. I also got a big, huge bag of peaches. I love peaches and I am making a dessert with peaches in meal prep. I needed grapes for my lunch prep and then just to have on hand. So like I said, lots and lots of fruit this week. I needed green onions and celery for my lunch meal prep. Bananas just to have on hand and then a lemon for a recipe. And like I said, what you don't see is Diet Coke and Gatorade Zero. So that's my haul for the week. Pretty good sized haul. Some really, really good deals at Kroger stores. Let's jump into what's for dinners and what you'll see in meal prep. So here's what's on my menu for the week. I am making cowboy baked beans. You guys will see this recipe in Wednesdays, what I eat in a day. We're going to do BLTs and a salad night. And then for meal prep, I'm actually making a blueberry breakfast cake. This is kind of like a coffee cake. I'm so excited for this. For lunch, I'm doing chicken salad with grapes and walnuts. And then for dessert, I'm making peach cobbler. So stay tuned on Monday for all three recipes. Thank you for joining me for this week's grocery haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing everything I picked up. Some really, really good deals. If you have a Kroger store, definitely check them out. Actually, most grocery stores do some big deals around 4th of July weekend. This is the time to pick up some of your favorite things. If you enjoyed the grocery haul, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, turn your bell on, and don't forget to check out the description box for nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and of course, my free Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Happy Saturday, and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Bye!